Low back pain is very common. The sacroiliac joint is a major source of low back pain. Pain originating from the SI joint is usually unappreciated, underdiagnosed, misunderstood, and usually attributed to other sources such as the hip and spine. Patients experiencing low back pain can spend months or even years in treatment without the correct diagnosis. Diagnostic injection of the sacroiliac joint is the only means to confirm diagnosis. Pain from the hip, spine, and SI joint can overlap and be associated. Patients can experience injuries associated with the spine and SI joint or the hip and SI joint. If the patient has a back sprain and it doesn't improve for several months, it is important to look at the SI joint. The SI joints are weight-bearing joints. These joints distribute weight from the spine to the lower extremities through the hip joints. From the front, the sacroiliac joint is supported by the anterior sacroiliac ligaments. There are also strong muscles in the front of the sacroiliac joint. Important nerves of the thigh and leg pass in front of the SI joints. From the back, the SI joint has strong posterior ligaments. The sciatic nerve crosses underneath the piriformis muscle. All of this is covered by strong back muscles. Symptoms of sacroiliac joint dysfunction include lower back, buttock, back of the thigh, and knee pain. Occasional groin pain, difficulty and discomfort while sitting, and the patient frequently changes position to become comfortable. All clinical examination tests used to determine the presence of SI joint pain are not specific. The finger test is helpful in determining SI joint pain. Patients usually point with one finger to one side toward the painful sacroiliac joint. If the patient points to the exact area of pain each time, the pain is likely coming from the SI joint. The Faber test is helpful in determining the presence of SI joint problems. The purpose of this test is to stretch the SI joint in order to reproduce pain. Press down gently but firmly on the flexed knee and the opposite anterior superior iliac crest. Pain in the sacroiliac area indicates a problem with the sacroiliac joints. The straight leg test is performed to determine whether a patient with low back pain has an underlying herniated disc. This test is not used to determine the presence of SI joint pain. Differential diagnosis of SI joint pain includes trochanteric bursitis, piriformis syndrome, myofascial pain, lumbosacral disc herniation and bulge, lumbosacral facet syndrome, lumbar radiculopathy, and cluneal nerve entrapment. Causes of SI joint pain include leg length discrepancy, mechanical dysfunction, usually the SI joint allows for minimal movement. Excessive or abnormal movement causes dysfunction of the joint, instability, and pain. Infection. Infection can sometimes be occult or hard to diagnose. Ankylosing spondylitis. A blood test is needed to identify the presence of the HLA B27 protein. Crystal arthropathy. Pyogenic arthropathy. Postspinal fusion. And stress fractures of the sacrum. Treatment of SI joint pain. Anti-inflammatory medications can be taken for a prescribed period of time. Continued use can have adverse effects on the kidneys and stomach. Physical therapy, manipulation, massage, yoga, exercise, and acupuncture each have effective roles in treatment. One method may work for you, but may not work for your neighbor. 
SI joint injections can be diagnostic or therapeutic. Therapeutic injection methods include steroids, platelet-rich plasma, or prolotherapy. Radiofrequency ablation, or RFA, uses radio waves to produce heat directed at a specific nerve. The nerves generating the pain are relieved by this procedure. Stabilization or fusion of the SI joint is the last resort for treatment of SI joint pain. Percutaneous fixation of the sacroiliac joint is achieved with proper placement of cannulated screws inserted over K-wire. Fusion is a much larger procedure and it can be done percutaneously. Patients should consult with their doctor before determining a course of treatment.